today I'll be teaching you how to follow treasure maps and seeing if I can get this on Garod. Let's get straight into this. All right, so yes, you heard me. Today I will be teaching you how to use treasure maps and follow them if you are having trouble and seeing if I can get the sunken rod. I have 15 treasure maps, all right? So this is going to be a fun little video and a tutorial, so let's get straight into this. All right, basically treasure maps are something you can fish up anywhere. It's a 1 in 160 chance to get them. And once you get them, you will see this screen when you equip it. Before following a treasure map, you're going to need something. Right here at the Moosewood Pond, there's this GPS that is only $100, all right? You're going to want to get this. It just shows your coordinates at the bottom. Then with your treasure map, you're going to want to go over to Forsaken Shores to get it fixed. All right, this map I have is already fixed, but basically what I mean by fixed, there will be two coordinates that are just question marks. So to get them fixed, you will need to go to Forsaken Shores and go to Captain Marrow and get them fixed so you can see the full coordinates to go to the spot. This is a fun little way I like to get up to Captain Marrow. Get up here, jump with the tidebreaker, and then get up here. And then up here you will see Captain Marrow and the scurvy rod, which I do not have. And honestly, let's buy. I have 15. I have 1.5 million dollars. I can buy some things, and that'll help in the equipment bag percentage in the long run. All right, but basically, you're going to want to hold out your treasure map, and he's going to say, how can I help you? Can you fix my map? It costs only 250 coins, so it's really easy. And then you will get it fixed, and you will have the full coordinates. After that, you're going to want to have to find the coordinates with the GPS, all right? I will teach you how these coordinates work if you do not understand. All right, so basically the X right here at the start is the horizontal position of the entire world. So this way where my cursor is going. Then the Y is basically up and down. So in the game, it means if you are going, if you are under the water and above the water. And you can see if you hold out your GPS, your, well, your Y coordinates right here will go up and down. All right, so that is what X and Y are. And then the final one, Z, is the vertigo, vertical water. Horizontal, vertical, down and up. So that's basically how they work. To find them, you're going to want to use your GPS by following the coordinates, all right? So let's try to find this one right here. You can see, honestly, I always skip the Y because it doesn't matter. So I just see X, 1,000. I like to round up the numbers. X, 1,000, and Z, negative 1,200, all right? So let's try to find that. So you can see we're way off from the 1,000 right here. We're in the negative. So basically, I'm just going to keep going straight till I get into the positive 1,000. And you can see all the numbers changing. You don't really have to worry about it. I like to focus on one at a time, all right? So I'm just going to go there. <laughs> on the 1100 right here. All right, so this is basically the x-axis where we have to be, all right? And then if we go ahead and look back at the treasure map, it says Z negative 1200, all right? So let's go ahead and equip our GPS and see where we are. Negative 360, so we know that this is this way for the Z. So it's not this way though, because you can see that goes down. We need to go the way that it goes up. This might go down when you're doing this too, but that's okay, it'll level up. Uh, level out eventually and you can see I have just been sailing this way and we are here 1100 and negative 1200 and if you look right here you can see the treasure chest with the exact same coordinates as it and you can see it's 130 it is exactly 132 all right so basically once you hear it you can just hold E to open it and let's see what we get we earned three quality bait crates, all right, which is pretty cool, and that's just some free crates you got. Boom, and those are a lot of legendaries, so these are pretty good. But that is how you follow treasure maps. I hope you understood that. Now I'm just going to get into me doing all my treasure maps, seeing if I can get the uh, sunken rod. All right, these are the first coordinates. Let's get over there. So a little tip, when you get near the coordinates, I like to go ahead and go underwater to see if I can see it, and I actually do see the treasure chest over there. All right, so I like to equip my tidebreaker. And then let's go all the way over there, just like this. That is just a little thing I like to do. It's a lot easier than going to the exact coordinates and getting your jet ski all over or whatever boat you have. All right, six truffle worms. That is a very good bait, actually, so I'm pretty happy with that. Right over here, we got the next treasure chest. Ah, oh, unequip my tidebreaker. Too fast. Unequip, unequip. Oh my gosh, I'm flinging up in the air. Let's get this second treasure chest. Let's see what I get. You also get a lot of bobbers from these, if you look. 
I get a lot from these. Like, look at this cute little whirly. I don't normally use bobbers. They're kind of just like normal. All right, another six truffle worm. I mean, I'll take it. It's free. I literally was just fishing and got all of these. So it's pretty nice. All the way down here. This one's very deep. Let's go ahead and open this up. And there we got Fillionaire. Could not tell you what the heck a Fillionaire is. Let me see. Did it go in my inventory? Yo, what is this? I'm gonna look at this in one second. This is kind of crazy. Hold up. This is like a scratch off ticket. No way fish brought gambling to the game. This is crazy. But let's see. Click. 11, 11, 6, 2. Oh my gosh, I just won 1500 for free. Let's go. Billionaires are my new addiction. All right, this one actually took a while to find, but here it is right here. Come on, sunken rod. Nope. A gold coin. Ooh, that's not the sunken rod. Honestly, going into this video, I did not know the sunken rod is that hard to find, okay? Also, if someone in the comments can tell me what a Tempest Potem does, that would be very much appreciated. All right, and let's see what this next one is. 1,200, 300. We're pretty close to this one, I'm pretty sure. All right, next one right here. Sunken rod, sunken rod. Nope, some more bait. Goodness, I don't want bait. I don't even fish with bait, to be honest. <laughs> treasure this one took me so long to find i feel like it's right by mushgrove swamp which is cool i guess but we just got some more quality bait crates let me open these again boom 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 nothing this time that was pretty bad luck but let's go ahead and go to the next one all right this one's actually on land which is pretty cool let's see what it is though another compass i've got that bobber before all right the next one is actually right under here and let's pick it up real quick. See what I get. Another Fillionaire. Oh, you know, I'll take those all day. Let's do that one real quick. All right, let's see what I get. Oh, my gosh. That one was a dud, bro. That one was horrible. Dang it. Well, don't worry. We'll get it next time. This one's right at spawn. If you can't see it, that's because it's right down here. Let's open this chest up. Another whaley. I'm not even getting anything new at this point. This is getting boring. This ocean is so big. I'm just going in such random places to get these. An enchant relic. I'm going to be real. I didn't really need any more enchant relics. 18. That's a lot of enchant relics. Probably like 25. Okay, should be right down here. Yes. Let's go. Another treasure chest. More quality bait. Crates! Oh my gosh, I don't want those, bro. I do not want those, but I will open them right now. Let's see what I get. Mm, some night shrimps. Those aren't bad. This one's very deep down, all right? But let's go ahead, go get this tidebreaker off. And this is our last treasure chest. Weird algae. All right. Oh, somehow, that's kind of what I expected. So the search for the sunken rod has ended for now we will do this again but this is what we got so far it's not that much out of 15 but now you know how to follow treasure maps and how rare the sunken rod is okay but i hope you enjoyed this video if it helped you out make sure to like and subscribe it really helps me out but i'll see you guys next time peace